Hey guys, welcome back to Code Station again. Today in this video, we will be seeing what are constants in C. But before that, we will be having a quick recap of what we have done in our previous video. So in our last video, we have seen what are variables. Variables are actually the names given to a particular memory location where we store our data. The next, we have also seen how to declare variables. Also, all the data types which are available in C such as integer, float, character and all. In case you have missed our previous video, I am providing the link of the video in our description box. So moving forward, we are going to see what are constants. So by definition, constants are the values that cannot be changed throughout the program. This means that once you have assigned a value to a constant variable, the value cannot be changed. Unlike in variables, we assign the values which are mutable. This means the values of a variable are always changeable. It can be changed any time in the program. Constants are used to represent fixed data values that remain unchanged throughout the program's execution. Con constants are also helpful for defining the values which are used repeatedly. The best example for constants is name. For example, if a person's name is John, then this name is being used by him throughout his life in colleges, in institutes, in government records, everywhere. So name is the best example for constant because a name once assigned cannot be changed. Now let's see some types and examples of our constant. Basically there are three types of constants in C. The first is integer constant, second is the floating point constant and the third is character constants. Let's see the integer constants first. Integer constants represents the whole number. Whole number means, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, etc. So these all are integer constant. You should also note that integer constant doesn't have a decimal part after it. Now let's take some example for our integer constant. For instance, we want to store a number 25 in a variable a and we want it to remain unchanged throughout the program. So for declaring a constant, we will be starting with the const keyword. The const is a keyword which is used to declare a constant followed by the data type and the variable name which is a and then assigning it the value of 25. Now we have assigned our data which is 25 to a variable a and this a variable will be remain unchanged throughout the program which is it will be remaining constant throughout the program. You can also assign a different data for our variable a instead of 25. For example I am assigning variable a as 15 so you can also do this in case of constant but it can be only done before execution of our code. Now here's all about integer constant. Now we will be moving forward with floating point constant. Floating constants represents decimal numbers. For example, number 1.1, 1.2, 3.4 and so on. These numbers are with decimal points. So floating constants stores decimal numbers. So we will be seeing a good example for floating constants. For that, first we will be starting with our const keyword followed by the data type. Now our data type will be float because float stores decimal numbers and the variable name pi. The value of pi is 3.14. 3.14, this value is actually a decimal number and the pi value also remains the same always. So and so for it, we will be creating a constant variable for the pi value which will remain unchanged throughout our program. 
Moving forward to our next type of constants, which are character constants. Character constants represents a single character. For example, A, B, C, B, and all. You should also note that in character constant, and capital A and a small case A is always different. They are not same. So for creating a character constant, we will start with the const keyword and with our character data type which is char and the variable name. For example, A1 and we will be assigning it a character A. You should always see that the character value should be in a single quotation mark. So now when you are going to use the variable a1 throughout your program, it will give the result a. Now I hope that you have understood what are constants and its types. So we end our video here. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you are enjoying this C programming web series. We will meet in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.